Warriors, it's Victoria just coming to talk to you tonight about setting in the practices and letting go of the outcomes. And so this is really important no matter what modality of healing that you're using. I hope you might be in the forum watching this right now in CFS Warriors Academy. And if you're not there, I hope you'll hop over on Facebook, go join the forum. We've got all kinds of wonderful teachers in there that have recovered from CFS and are teaching their modality of healing, whether that's brain retraining, um, mind-body connection, holistic physical health support. So um, basically what I want to encourage you to do, because I used all of those, and I asked these mentors to come in and teach in this academy because each one of their modalities was very useful for me in my journey to health. And so basically though, you know, I just want to encourage you to use the tools. Like let's take something like EFT. You know, use the tools, set that in place. If you're doing that, like there was a period in my recovery where I used that a lot. And frankly, I don't use it anymore on the rare occasion. So, but basically by having that practice, I needed to let go of the outcome. Like I was trying to, don't try to force that practice to heal you. It's like this is a tool and as I set it in place, I know that it's going to help me. So I used to do it like once or twice a day on a regular basis. I also incorporated meditation into my life and I had a very consistent time because that was easy for me. I could lie in bed and listen to guided meditations. And yet letting go of the outcome like, oh, I'm trying to get this meditation because this is going to heal me. You know, it doesn't really work that way. It's about putting in the practices, knowing that they're going to produce an outcome that's going to be positive in your life. And so for me, I know putting in routine and structure was really useful for me. And again, it was just trusting these are good health practices. And as I do them, they're going to produce an outcome. And my brain retraining, I love doing it on a consistent basis every day so that it's part of my lifestyle and I still do that a lot and because it's it's fabulous it's a fabulous tool that you'll use in all of your life once you're healthy and well and so again it's letting go of the outcome and just putting those practices in so this really kind of came to mind when I was looking over 2020 in my little notebook where I keep you know write about my vision and things that I thought wow 2020 has been very different from what I thought but it was interesting how in the journal I had written in the beginning of the year, what if this first year is kind of like a January of a year? So 2020 is the first year of a decade. And so what if I'm building the infrastructure that I want for the rest of this decade for the, you know, during this year. And it's funny how the year turned out. And actually it's been a great year for me to build that infrastructure with my exercise and my brain retraining and my, you know, my online studies getting certified and just other things I'm doing in, in my home to get it in order after 10 years, you know, it's, it's been amazing. And so, I just want to encourage you in that too because I'm doing these practices and realizing, you know what, by having consistency and discipline in these, it's setting me up for a good decade. And I'm not one of those to bind to the doom and gloom. I won't do that anymore. I did that enough during CFS. So I just hope that, you know, during the rest of this year that you could come back to those practices that serve you the very best and that will help serve you in the years to come. So anyway, warriors, take care. Remember, life's not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel. And hop on over to Facebook. Join us at CFS Warriors Academy where you can learn about all kinds of different modalities that help me in my recovery.